Hi, y'all. I'm back. What's good? Okay, so topic. Look good, feel good, live good. We talk about this all the time, but um, a lot of people, we have a lot of new subscribers, so we're going to um, talk about it a little bit more because I think a lot of ladies need to understand this on a broader level. So welcome. Y'all hit the like button, okay? So looking good allows you certain feelings within, which allows you certain um, attractions without. So you'll attract certain things closer to you, faster opportunities, people, you know, treatment faster to you, the better you look. Okay. This is just common sense. The next thing is how it makes you feel internally. It's going to boost your self-esteem. It's going to help you get to the next level in your mental level up. Because if you think you look good enough to do something and to accomplish something or to be able to meet a certain type of man or, you know, get a certain type of man to do something for you, then your self-esteem level goes up and your confidence will go up as far as getting that man to be able to do that thing for you or getting, you know, whoever it is to do that thing for you because you have that confidence behind you. The next thing is, you know, treatment, public treatment. The public treats you better, period. I don't care what you say. I know this for a fact. And if you have gone out looking very nice versus looking very plain or blah, you see the difference. So we all know that. Um, so we, got, we have to realize this and we have to stop trying to make excuses for certain things. When we have done the experiment, we have done, you know, all the leveling up and things like that. We have to stop trying to make excuses for what is and what isn't. Whatever is politically correct doesn't mean that it's true. I will repeat that. What you think is supposed to be true because it's politically politically pull up down polar politically correct when it's correct for everyone you can't you don't you don't go to the store and buy a, a, a dress that fits everyone you can't so if you're trying to be politically correct everybody's going to be walking around in a giant moo moo right so we all cannot be politically correct. Someone has to come out and give you some direction, some truth, some information that is going to help you get to your next level, whatever that is. Thank you for all of the tips. Thank you, Val L. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So yes, we have to know what direction we're going in, know what we want, get on that path and do what it takes to get there. And that's what I help you with. You know, I don't sit there and complain about what is and what's not. I just go and do what I need to go do. You know, um, people like to complain about things because they can't change them. They can change them. They don't want to change them. If you're a complainer, then go complain. But over here, we level up and go to the next level. Now, we don't have to do everything politically correct. Let's just face it. The government doesn't even do everything politically correct. Okay? The politicians don't, don't do anything politically correct. That should tell you something. The only people around here that are trying to please everyone or trying to um, make everything equal now, everything should be equal, but let's face it, it's not, and it never will be, and it never was. Things complement each other. Things complement each other. If everything was equal, you would have to add and subtract from it or have it equal in a different way, a complementary way, like, you know, two numbers that add up to the same number, you can switch out a number or switch out two numbers and it will still have the same answer. An equation but the numbers are different, okay? You can't just have everything be the same because that's boring and no one would wanna live in a world like that. So 
We need to understand that when we compliment ourselves, when a man compliments himself with, you know, certain things that make a woman attracted to him, then that's the equation that you get. One plus one equals two. Okay. It's what you're attracting or what you're trying to attract. Thoughts on married sugar daddy willing to give to girl, get your money, sprinkle, sprinkle. That's my thoughts. Get your money. It's always going to be my thought. Um, sugar daddy is keyword, not boyfriend. Not, not, you know, that's it. No, no. Remember his name and his place. If that's what he is to you. I love how she keeps it calm. It's all about results. Ladies, ignore the haters. Girl, I don't see no haters. I only see views. She were having trouble finding cute casual clothes at the mall. We are still on lockdown. Don't want to be overdressed at market. Order your stuff online. Like there's so many cute clothes that you're not going to be able to find in the mall because you'll be tired of walking through and shuffling clothes. Go online, find something that you like, see if they have it in the mall, then go get it because you're going to spend too much time looking around and they may not have everything, but definitely I shop online. Um, I like, like right now I just have this like cute little pink puff sleeve shirt on and some black cute um, pants or jeans or jigging jeans. I don't know what these things are. Um, or you could do like a mini skirt with tights. If since it's cold where you are in like a little sweater, or maybe some boots or whatever. I don't really think the casual wardrobe should be too fancy. I would stay simple classic or you know do just a little bit of trend maybe like with the top and then everything else is classic but i would definitely go for things that are in season and that are going to work with whatever environment or area that you're going to but don't overdo it S stick to neutral tones if you um like neutral tones like blush nude brown pinks like baby pinks or you could put a pop of color in there like you know but keep it subtle when you're doing casual that's my opinion mm -hmm. you scared to go online well now you know the good thing is they have size charts now like so you can just click on you know sizing and it'll tell you what size fits like what and they'll give you the inches and everything in a lot of the stores so you'll be fine uh-huh oh you can't expose what's already on the internet um i read your book i bring nothing to the table and it really helped me with validation on raising my standards with dating i've been putting in more efforts into how i leave the home good for you sprinkle sprinkle thank you Quana. yes that's one of my favorite books that i wrote because it takes women from, oh, what do I bring to this relationship to what do you bring to me? You know what I'm saying? It gives you your power back. It gives you your position back. It gives you your identity back because, you know, we're not supposed to bring anything to anyone, which is why a lot of women get put into the Pygmisha role. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you so Safia, sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate that. Do you still think that stream was pre-recorded? I don't know. I haven't watched it since, but I'm pretty sure things are orchestrated. Okay. Thank you, sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm-hmm. Thank you, girl. And I don't want to talk about people that can't make their own content anymore. Okay. When they make, ask me about a video they made that doesn't concern me. Then I'm my answer. Okay. When they, when they can use themselves instead of me, I'll answer. Cause I, I already know everything about myself. So when they can make something about themselves then we can talk. Okay. when they can create, we can talk. And you know, that bring that brings up another thing. I don't want to have to, put my, all my videos in a membership category where people have to pay to watch them because people keep stealing my content. So let's hope that, you know, people stop stealing my content. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I toured luxury apartments yesterday 
and the leasing agent complimented me on how cute and well put together I looked. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Soraya. Sprinkle, sprinkle. The Daniela, I know. Don't you love getting compliments? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, I like the hair and the bond one for the other day. Oh, thank you, girl. Yeah, I'll switch it up, you know, since I have to be on camera. I'd like to give y'all something different to look at. Right. So, thank you so much for the great advice going to open a business for my birthday. Go ahead, girl. In March. Okay, Ray Velvet, do that. And good luck with that, yes. Uh huh. Thank you. Y'all need to be on the real knowledge. What? How to be a pig, Misha? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If y'all, if, if there's anyone in here that's tired of getting the bag and tired of getting money, y'all know where to go to be get some dusties. <laughs> okay, y'all know where the dusty is, baby. Dusty dust. Take your Claritin before you go over there so you don't be sneezing. All right. Um, so looking good means you're not um, lacking in your confidence. You know, you walk into a, a place, you don't feel like you should shrink yourself. You don't feel like you should hide. You don't feel uncomfortable or out of place. You feel very comfortable with how you look. So things will um, unfold for you, you know, because when people see that confidence, then they, oh, okay, you know, hi, da, da, da. but if, if you look like you don't belong there or if you're out of place or like if you're nervous or something, they're going to, they're going to see your weaknesses and, you know, they're going to know. And then you become a target to men who try to, um, you know, find weak looking low self-confident women because they feel like they can control them. So you need to be careful with how you look when you go out as well as how you act and how, you know, the level of your self-confidence. I love sprinkle. Thank you, Naya. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Love you too, girl. Um, You love the bag? Well, then you better stay over here. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. This is a new lip gloss that I got. It's by Lipstick Queen. And I think the color is, oh, Aurora. This color is called Aurora. So, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh oh, Trent say I glow up. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I've noticed when I go dressed up, I get more compliments and get treated better by people. Yep, yeah, that's what that's what happens. Thank you, Tina. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate that. So when you are um, when you're out and about and you're and you're feeling good because you're looking good and people are looking at you and being extra nice to you, then what? You know, then what? Okay, if you're trying to freestyle or if you're trying to attract a certain person, you know, make a little eye contact. Like, then, you know, if they want to come, they can come on over. Mm, that was the invitation right there. You know what to do. Don't come broke, though. Um, <laughs> you know, don't come dusty. It don't come with bad intentions because you know people can read that. They know they know the game because I gave it to them. They know all the triggers and the keywords, <laughs> right? We already know when you say certain things, it means something else. We already know this, so don't come with no craziness. Thank you, uh, the pink pill sprinkle sprinkle. Just finished the live with Mina, the universe. Oh. 
and you are here. Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm here, girl. I, I got up and I was on my other channel earlier and I'm on this one. So, yeah. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be doing a workshop soon, me and the Pink Peel. And we're going to help ladies get to the next level and offer, you know, in-depth, exclusive information that, um, you know, will help you guys get what you're looking for or at least get on the right path to get what you're looking for. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, um, yes. Sprinkle, sprinkle. She is a positive person. Um, Sasha said that um, you are so sweet. Sprinkle, sprinkle, pink peel. Yes. <laughs> she heard you talking and she was like, oh, she's so nice. She's so sweet. Sasha got really upset. She says, I'm sorry that you have to deal with this and you and the pink peel have to deal with this. And I said, well, it's, it's other people too. She says, I'm so sorry, mommy. I'm like, it's okay, baby. You know, I'm used to it. This is what, this is what it is. Um, but yeah, she's, um, she was a little bit upset, but she'll get over it. I'm sure she'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I missed some super chats. I'm sorry. I thought I got them. Let me scroll back up. Okay. Okay, I got her. I got, I got you, pink pill. Um, I didn't see any. Oh wait, this, I see a blue one here. No, that's the same one. Okay, no, I don't. I didn't miss any. I don't think I did. Sorry. Or they didn't show up. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. I will try. Are you a wall banger? No, I'm a cam. I'm a cam upper. <laughs> I be camming up, baby. Um. So men will be at the workshop. No, it's probably going to be mostly women. I'm sure. <laughs> I mean. Do men want to sign up for that? I don't think so. Do men want to go find? <laughs> okay. Unless they're looking for men, you know, maybe. What's a wall banger? Girl, somebody that can't get on the camera? Obviously. Anyway. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. There was, what? Sure, how do I start my own business without my husband knowing online? <laughs> um, start it online and do drop shipping where you don't have to ship any products, you know, physically. You just look into drop shipping. You know, I think you could do that with Amazon, with an affiliate link, or you can do it with different stores. Um, different products and stuff like that on Shopify and things like that. But just do your research. Um, I also have like my book, How to Do What You Love by Shira Seven and the Shira Star Goddess. Like those are the two names that I have the book under. So if you're going to look for it, you have to put in both names on Amazon. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Did you stop drinking at a certain point? Yeah, I stopped drinking alcohol like two, two and a half years ago. It might have been three. Mm -hmm. Maybe two and a half. Right. Um. Yes. So make sure that you know you're taking care of yourself because the older you get. I mean, you're going to get wiser, smarter, or whatever, but you also don't want to l let yourself go, ladies. Don't let yourself go because if you if you look at good examples of older women who take care of themselves, they still have a great life. They still have admirers. They still have men chasing after them in their 60s and 70s and stuff. Y'all know. So make sure you keep yourself leveled up so that when you don't, you know, start feeling old and useless and 
nobody wants me. Nobody wants to visit me. You know, have a life as you get older to keep your looks. Like all those ladies out there you see that are living their best life at 60, 65, 70, you know, Beyonce's mom, Angela Bassett, you know, all these ladies that take very good care of themselves just out there looking good, you know, look, keep your looks up so that you can still live when most people are going to be sitting at home in a, you know, a recliner, you know, gossiping about other people. You need to stay on the forefront of life. Okay. Don't retire before it's your time. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you keep your looks up as a young person, it'll become a habit. Okay. It'll become a habit. So you won't have to keep going up and down, up and down, up and down. You just stay on that level or get better. Yeah. Nicole Murphy, mm -hmm. her Instagram is like, wow. Um, what's her name? Harvey. Marjorie Harvey, looking good, you know. You can still secure the bag at any age if you keep your looks up, okay? You will be out here doing it better than these youngsters out here, you know, because you took the time, the energy, and the effort to put into yourself. And what you put into yourself, you get back. You get back what you put in. You get back what you put in. If you don't put anything in, you can't get anything out of it, you know. Um, if you give more than you receive, you're going to be shortchanged. You know, um, if people aren't giving you what you're going to give them, you're still being shortchanged. So if you are, um, you know, trying to level up, if you're in a relationship where you're giving more than you're receiving, that's a wake up call. Wake up. You shouldn't be doing that. Um, mm hmm. Your goal is Nicole Murphy. I know, right? So when am I going to apologize? <laughs> um, When all my stuff's taken down. When all my content is taken down from other people's channel. So that's when. How? Yes. And I've already said that so many times. My goal is shot a sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, she does still look good, right? Yeah, we don't care about that anymore. We're we're done with that. We're moving on to the next thing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we're moving on to the next thing. My, oh, hey, lady, you helped me change my life. Thank you. Thank you, Purposely Purple, Sprinkle, Sprinkle. Oh, look, we almost have, well, you have, yours probably more magenta. I like your shirt in the profile picture. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. Let's see. All right. Mm-hmm. So, right. Honestly, if you are having um, issues mm -hmm. in your relationship, try leveling up. Like you don't, you don't believe me, but do it. If you have any issues in your relationship, take all the focus off of him and put it on you. Put all that, take all that energy off of him that you're giving away for free and put it within yourself. Put it in whatever you're going to do with your hair, what you're going to do with your clothing that day, makeup, exercise, you know, whatever. Put that back into you and level yourself up to where you are now out of that person's league. And when you become out of their league, you know what I'm saying? They're going to have to do whatever or be replaced or worried about being replaced, whatever. That's how you want it. That's how you want it. Okay. You don't have to, you should not be in any relationship where you can't leave and go do something else better. Okay, this is why these ladies stay leveled up to keep these men in place. You understand? You, if you stay leveled up, you keep you keep the men in their place. Of course, some men are going to be able to go out and get another chick as well, but they still got to go and start all over and start getting that wallet all over. You know what I'm saying? So cheaper to keep it, right? Um, 
It's cheaper to keep her. Um, you know. <laughs> Sprinkle. Do you feel bad? No, I don't feel bad about anything I do. I, I do nothing with regret. Everything is done with purpose. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Just like people don't feel bad for stealing my content. You know. <laughs> the true morals. This is a test. You, you guys don't realize. The true morals that someone says that they have lies in their hands to do the right thing. Through doing the right thing, the right thing will be done in return. The true one with the true morals, because I don't have morals, according to someone. I have no morals. So the one with the morals, <clears throat> they're going to have to do what's necessary in order to get me to do what they want me to do. What do you think about my husband? Half joking, saying I don't like him. <laughs> he treats me very well and spoils me. <clears throat> should I be more affectionate? No. You should just pet him and say, oh, I love you. Of course I don't like you. I love you. And then move on. <laughs> okay. Shoot. You're right. I don't like you. I love you. Buy yourself some time, girl. <laughs> mm hmm So, Will y'all stop asking me about some other stuff that's not important right now? I'm focusing on making my own content. I'm, tr I'm trying to make content, hopefully, that no one steals. Okay. Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> I'm getting a little parched because of all this dust up in here. If you want to watch me, go over there. <laughs> I'm sure I'm up there somewhere. Ask that live <laughs> when they're going to do the morally right thing and apologize. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm staying focused on the subject. So uh, now, you know, always, I always tell you guys to get a book or you can use your phone. If you don't like journals or whatever, you just get a little journal or a book or you can use your phone. Make a list of all the stuff that you want or need to level up. And like if you're on a budget, make sure you're not going to break your budget find ways to get the stuff without having to go too much over your budget or over your budget at all. Um, maybe replace some things that you don't, don't really need to buy with things that you need to level up. Like, do you really need this brand of, you know, this, or if you get a cheap brand, is it going to do the same thing? And so you can afford to buy a, a dress or whatever your makeup is. So just do stuff like that and create a budget for your level up. If you don't have a lot to work with. Um, and this is why I did the uh, Dollar Tree cha makeup challenge on uh, my beauty channel because a lot of ladies are trying to level up, but they don't have enough, you know, money. So it's a cheaper way to level up until you can get more money, you know. So make sure that you don't use money as an excuse because you can always substitute and sacrifice f certain things in order to put certain things in place. Um, yeah. This perfume, oh, perfume. This lip gloss is called Aurora and it's by Lipstick Queen. Um, thank you, Miss um, K. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll apologize when my content is taken down. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, Thank you. But thank you for the donation. Mm hmm. Let's see. The best revenge is served sitting pretty in pink. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Team Shira. <laughs> thank you. Just looking. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, so you're welcome. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, you know, we know that having the confidence also rubs off on our kids, on our children, or whoever is looking up to us. It's going to rub off on them. So if a lot of you guys have women or, you know, mothers or aunts or whoever, big sisters, 
who, you know, took care of themselves, kept themselves up. They were a good example for you. And you have some, you know, understanding of, you know, how things work. But if you're growing up in a household where your mom is very masculine or doesn't do anything with herself or, you know, doesn't like taking pictures or doesn't like, you know, um, showing herself or dolling herself up, that's that may that may rub off on you, especially if you don't have sisters or aunts that do. So you have to make sure since if you were raised like that, you have to understand that's not the only way and that's not the correct way or there's no right or wrong way, but that's not how you're going to get to where you're trying to go if you're trying to level up. So you need to make a, a list or a Pinterest board or something of all the things that you like makeup looks that you want to practice. Hairstyles or wigs or hair colors that you want to use. Um, different clothing options. If you don't have a budget for clothes, start looking for clothes you already have on Pinterest and how to create outfits with them with what you already have in your closet. Because that's what I did. I have a board called stuff I can make, you know, outfits I can make from my closet. And I just go online and like, let's say you have a tan, um, like trench coat or pea coat or whatever you put in tan pea coat outfits. And then all the, all the stuff will pop up and it's like, Oh, I have jeans and a shirt that color and some flats or some boots or some heels. So I'm going to click this and put this on my Pinterest board of outfits I can make in my closet. Oh, I have a dress similar to that. Now, you know, I have heels like that and I have a necklace like that, or I can go get a necklace like that. So you just make your board and that way you don't have to thumb through your closet. Oh, what do I wear? You already have a Pinterest board, you know what to go grab and that's it. That's what I do sometimes. Um, and then I also get inspiration by making Pinterest boards of stuff that I want to get outfits that I want. And it makes it easier when you go to the store, you already know what to go for and you save a lot of time or you can shop online, but make those boards make those lists and start executing and, and start getting, you know, your level up on in some type of way, you know, um, it's going to help you. It, believe me, you're going to get to places where you never thought you could even access before just by looking good. People will just pull you, pull you in, baby, just from looking good. That's how I got to meet Prince twice. <laughs> They'll just pull you in. Okay. I met so many celebrities just by looking good. Wasn't even looking for them. <laughs> Moving on to bigger and better people who can add value without involving other creators will go broke or fade into an oblivion now. <laughs> Thank you, Bon Vivient L. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, I appreciate that. Um, no, y'all aren't going to pit me against other women. We're too old over here. That's for the childish. I can act childish sometimes, but my mind is mature. Okay. And wise. Nobody set up anybody, baby. Okay. Yes. So I make up looks as well. They also have like many tutorials and videos on there now too, if you look, but definitely get on YouTube, make you a little playlist of makeup looks you want to practice or try. That's, that's, a, that's also good because that's how many people learn these days is on the internet. Um, mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. lovely. Okay, so make sure, you know, if you have a, a child, a daughter or whatever, make sure she sees you doing these things. Maybe you can do her nails or let her paint her nails or take her to the nail place with you. You know, include her because sometimes it's fun to have a buddy or someone to level up with, even if it's your daughter, you know, um, daughter or daughters. I, Layla, Sasha and I used to all go get our nails and um, uh, our manicures and pedicures together before COVID. Thank you, Cherry P. Sprinkle, Sprinkle. Should I stop wearing the sexy dresses in red? It depends on where you're going. <laughs> You know, sometimes it's a little bit too much and people you know exactly what you're doing if you do that a lot. So try to keep it minimum, like, you know what I mean? Like for church only. <laughs> when you're coming in late, clicking and clacking, in the past you got to look up. That's when you wear that red. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Do I have a black eye? No, I don't have a black eye. Why? You like it? Or are my eyes black? My eyes are dark brown. So 
I'm going to block the trolls, but put a curse on them. Out of Okay. You said you want to put a curse on. <laughs> she says, you did kind of find it funny how people are so moral and want to hold Shira Seven, but have so much apologies for some man who do so much damage. Note the difference. Girl, nobody has to apologize to anybody. I, I, I really don't care for an apology and I don't care to give apologies. The whole point is the problem just needs to be solved. So I'm focusing on solving the problem, not apologizing. I'm, so, I'm focusing on the problem. That's right. Once the problem is solved, then I can worry about apologies. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Right? Right? Solve the problem. Don't get distracted. First off, you're gorgeous. Thank you for always rising above foolishness. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Myrna. 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 Am I saying it right? Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. In a mutually, um, thank you, Pineapple Green, in a mutually beneficial relationship, which standards are best? I get allowance, but what do I give him? My time. Yeah, your time, baby. Your presence, your time. Walk next to him, hold his hand, be seen with him in public, look good, be his trophy, be his arm candy. Yep. <laughs> Talk to him. That's that's basically it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You saw a few bonnets today. Oh, no. Where you go, Walmart girl? Uh, thank you. I stand alone. Um, okay, I'll tell them for the third, fourth, or fifth time for the people in the back. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You talk to your boss, he is very upset. Girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, right. Always have like a dress that you can wear, you know, if there's a special occasion at the last minute, always keep a nice cocktail dress or, you know, event dress or evening dress on hand because you never know when you're going to get invited to something last minute or when you're going to have to do something last minute. Um, so always keep something on hand for every occasion, like stuff like that. That's very important, like certain shoes, certain um dresses and things like that other stuff you can kind of go shop for or prepare for later but make sure you have essentials in place you know bags shoes dresses things like that sure do you think about women but cut off all their who would i think about women who cut off their hair why does it piss me off i don't know girl because why does it, I mean, sir, I'm sorry, Percy, I didn't even see your name, I'm sorry. Percy, I don't know why it makes you mad, but maybe it's because men are attracted to hair, I don't know. <laughs> so, it doesn't make women mad when men grow out their hair, but it makes men mad when women cut their hair. That's a good question. I think it's because the woman starts to look like a man and a lot of the femininity, if they don't have the right outfit or makeup or bone structure, you know, it could, they could look manly, you know? So I think that's why men like hair. Okay. <laughs> because a hair cut, she really done and ready to change her life. What? Oh, they, some people cut their hair to start over in life. It's like a spiritual thing, right? Girl, I'll just switch my wig. Yeah, there, there you go. Switch my wig. Make them feel like you're cheating. Switch my wig. Make them feel like you're cheating. Okay, just switch your wig, baby. <laughs> you're, yeah. Long hair symbolizes youth and fertility. I guess that's what it is. It's scientific, right? Um, get the bag and the briefcase. Great question. Percy. They said great question, Percy. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. 
Will y'all stop asking me to apologize? Why don't y'all go work on getting my content taken off of someone else's channel who did not create it? <laughs> Do the right thing, you know. You you can't get in trouble for an opinion, but you can get in trouble for stealing stuff. I mean, don't you think? That's that's kind of silly, right? Mm-hmm. She'll be all right. She got some extra subscribers. <laughs> Okay. Um, you sending them out, girl? Go, go ahead. I think all of I think some of my subscribers have apologized on my behalf, so that's good enough, right? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I thumbs down all her videos. Good. Do you mean stay at home with your kids from another relationship? What? You wife works from home. Oh, y'all are talking to Zach. Girl, what did Zach and see it? You are right. I lost 30 pounds and leveled up my looks. My husband of 17 years is chasing me again. Sprinkle, sprinkle, you're fabulous. Thank you, Finn Fatale. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I, I know that's right, girl, because he knows you're going to run off if you don't. You got to look good, baby. I think a lot of I think a lot of people realize, you know, looking at my transition. I mean, I look good when I first met my husband when I leveled up and then um, I had kids I, and I still leveled back up right after I had kids. It was when I got bored and just started eating and taking the kids out to eat every day. And, you know, that was our entertainment. Um, that's when I started gaining weight when I was like not conscious of what I was eating and just doing it as an activity um, instead of uh, something else. So then, you know, you catch yourself and you, you level, you level back up and, you're good to go, but as long as you catch yourself and don't go too far, then you're good. You know, but you know, I was enjoying my life. Shoot, I was, I was enjoying that time of my life. I was getting appetizers, entrees, and desserts, <laughs> and beverages. <laughs> That's what will happen to you if you go out to eat every day and have appetizers, entrees, and beverages and dessert. That's what happens, especially if you don't exercise and get it off. <laughs> So, I mean, that I, I lived my life, baby, and enjoyed it. <laughs> that will put, yeah, sure will. When you start dating, it's because James used to take me out to eat all the time. That's how I gained for, uh, a lot of weight. We would all just go out to eat. But then I'm like, wait a minute. I need, I need to get, I get, I need to get back in shape because. I gotta, I gotta maintain. <laughs> I gotta maintain all of this so that my life can stay very good. Like you know, you go to the gym, you see those ladies. They know that they know the same thing. They're on that treadmill like they life depend on it. Like I gotta get in shape. My husband, I need a new car. You know, <laughs> they on there. <laughs> They in there working and then and most of them, you know, they're pretty good in shape, but they know they can't gain five pounds. <laughs> they husband's crazy. I'm glad I'm not in one of those type of relationships, but hey, sometimes it's just themselves that don't want to gain, which is good, but it shouldn't rule your life. You just should just be conscious of it. Okay. So um a lot of people ask how I lost the weight. I just cut my calories from whatever I was eating before to 1,500 calories, to 1,200 to 1,500 calories a day. And then I stopped. And I drank water and like tea, which, you know, doesn't have any calories. And I just did that for a couple of years. And then eventually I became plant-based, like vegan eating. But I lost most of the weight just cutting calories. So that's that's all you really have to do. You said, tell us more about Prince. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Techniques. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, the first time I met Prince, I was probably about 17 or 18, I think. Mm, maybe 18. Um, I was, it was at the after concert at the Roxy nightclub. So we had seen this concert. Then there was an after party at the Roxy. And so my sister and all her friends and I went and 
he was on the top floor. There's like a balcony. There was um, a dance floor and everybody was dancing. And he had this little flashlight thingy. He was looking over the balcony at people and he would flash the people he wanted to come up to the VIP section to meet him. So he flashed me. I was out there looking good, you know. He flashed me with the flashlight and the bodyguard dude came and got me and like took you upstairs. And I was like, hi, nice to meet you. Hi, Prince. <laughs> um, he was a magical, beautiful, sparkly being. And then the second time I met him, um, he had gotten married. Um, and it was at another after party from his concert. But um, the way that I got to meet him then was I was we were waiting in line to get into the VIP, but they weren't letting people in. Um, my sister was trying to pay to get in. They were like, no, you can't pay to get in. And so I said, well, I'll just stay in the line. Y'all go dance or have fun or whatever, because I want I want to get in. And so I was in line and this dude came to get me. And I'm like, who are you? He's like, hey, oh, I'm this person. I'm like, OK. He's like, oh, I'm the owner of you know, this, this and that. I'm like, oh, okay. He said, you want to get in? I said, I sure do. And so he brought me right up in there. He just walked straight in. So I knew he was some type of celebrity, right? And um, I'm like, he's, he was the owner of FUBU, one of the owners of FUBU. Y'all remember FUBU back in the day? <laughs> you know the dude from Shark Tank? It was him, the one with the bald head. He came, got me, and brought me into the VIP section. And so um, I was like, in there and there's other celebrities in there. It was like, I got bored because I wanted to dance. I was young. And so I went back out and then they closed the whole club and only the VIP people could stay. And then Prince brought his wife. Um, I think it was Mighty Mayate or whatever her name was out on the dance floor when everybody had left and there was only a few people and he was doing ballroom dancing with her to his own music. It was so sweet. <laughs> but, and then he met, uh, he met everybody and I met him again. I don't know if he remembered me because it's been years later, but it was fun. Team Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you, Billy Nay. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Now you're going back to bed. Okay, girl. Night night. <laughs> um girl, people have multiple bills. Sprinkle sprinkle. If you could get one person for all them bills, then you're doing good. Okay. Do what you got to do. Or you can pay your own bills and use the money for shopping. Hey, whatever. Thank you, Empress. My good, my goddess, my current interest has given me $5,000 and an expensive vacation in the last two months without me asking. I now want him to start paying my rent. How should I ask him to do so? You need to make up a story like how you have to help pay someone else's mortgage like your grandma and that now you are a little short for yours and you're worried and they should offer sprinkle sprinkle empress fee you know if you're if it seems like you're doing that for someone else then he'll probably do for you oh yeah i i met i met him too <laughs> um i haven't met i didn't have met mj no Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hey, hi, Princess Kathy. How you doing? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I remember being in your Facebook page when you told us Prince died. I was heartbroken all week and played his song for a month. Aw, sprinkle, sprinkle. Rest peace. That was a while back. That was, I think I was in my other house. Mm hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. My dad met Tito. Girl. <laughs> you met Tito. Uh -huh. Um Shira, I wanted to ask you if you can give me some advice. My wife upset with me. She works, but I'm stay-at-home dad, except we don't have any kids. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> Definitely don't have no kids. That's number one. Don't have no kids. 
start a business. Start your business so she could quit her job and when you start making money. There you go. Get an online but online business. You can work from home until she could start staying home. There you go. You know he trolling. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. So somebody says get an online job. Get an online job and an online business then, okay? Um I heard that Texas is like a materialistic state. If you don't look good, people won't mess with you. <laughs> um, I think that's everywhere. <laughs> like who 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 don't look who wants to mess with somebody who don't look good? I'm just, I'm just curious. You know. I say, okay, every, you know how they say everything is bigger in Texas? Yeah. You do everything big. We do we do everything pretty big. So it's kind of like if you're gonna do something, do it. Do it. Um my sister's like that. She can't just have people over. She has to have a dinner party. She has to have a theme. She gotta, you know, it's stuff, it's just like that. It, it's just fun. It's I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really big on entertaining, but the people that are, they do it big. <laughs> okay. You said I was the original super hit. No, I, I didn't get I didn't get down like that, baby. I was too young. Sprinkle sprinkle. <laughs> um <laughs> Y'all know that's cold though, right? You know. Those are the trans, what do I call them? Transfers. <laughs> okay. The dusty inappropriate question. <laughs> right? The reason y'all, we don't hate nobody. How can we hate on what we can't see? Sprinkle, sprinkle. We hate it. We hate a ghost. I hate the invisible man. Bye. <laughs> right. You say you enjoy Texas. <laughs> Girl, you have still difficult. Uh huh. What are my favorite lip glosses? My lip glosses, Level Up Cosmetics. But like my other favorite lip glosses of other brands, um, I like for okay for drugstore brands, I like NYX Butter Gloss. For high end, I like um, Too uh, Too Faced has pretty good ones, and Lipstick Queen has really good ones, and Buxom they have really good ones if you like lip plumper and your lipstick. Um, I like Soap and Glory lip plumper um, lip gloss too. Those are really pretty. But I don't like, I just have so many lip glosses and lipsticks. I just grab the color that I like, you know, uh, or the brand that I know that I like. Let's see what I got in here. Yeah. So like, this is like a lip, lip gloss, lip color. And this is from my brand, Level Up Cosmetics. This is like, it's called Venus Kiss. And it's like a brownish red. It's it, like a brick red. It looks good on everybody. And oh, I have what else do I have in here? I have some NYX Filler Instinct. This is just like a lip plumping lip gloss. It's kind of similar to this one. See, except this one's more iridescent. But you know, I'm gonna have this one from. I don't know where this is from. I just have whatever color I like. I have Milani. This is just my upstairs office makeup because I have makeup downstairs and purse makeup. So I have makeup everywhere. Um, mm -hmm. Right. 
coloring is good too. Okay. So, you know, a lot of times these makeup websites, they have like 75% off sales and you can get high end makeup for a decent price. So look for the sales. Um, I got a bunch of Too Faced makeup for like 75% off after Christmas, like before New Year's. And I got a bunch of stuff. You know, you can also look around at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx and they have the, the cosmetic section where they have high end makeup for less price. So you can go look there. I found uh, like a lot of NARS, a lot of um, different brands of cosmetics over there. Like you can find Too Faced there too, but um, it's a great place to get discounted high end makeup if you're um, on a budget or even if you're not on a budget and you just want to buy it, whatever you can find it there i also like to get my sephora points so i always buy like my big makeup palettes and stuff that i want and my foundation I always get high-end foundation um if you get like a drugstore foundation um test it out make sure it looks good after like hours of wear because sometimes it oxidizes or looks bad on camera or if you're taking a picture or just whatever so high-end makeup is going to be the best for you anyway um as long as um like you can do high-end foundation and you can do like a cheap powder you can do a high-end um like brow and like a cheap you know liner so you can exchange in and out you don't have to buy everything expensive um hi Thelma you're a new subby welcome sprinkle sprinkle you're scared to try she in makeup has anyone it's the same makeup they just put a different name on it they, they all have the same warehouse for every a lot of places and they just it's all the same formula some cheaper some more expensive i bought a lipstick from she in and it was really good so um i don't know about the eyeshadow palettes they look decent they look like the kind you can get on amazon so i mean just kind of look around Mm -hmm. And remember, they buy in bulk so they can sell cheap. <laughs> right. Okay, so another, another thing that you can do um, to level up is level up your, not, I tell this to a lot of ladies all the time, level up your house lounging clothes. Like if you're going to stay in, don't walk around in ugly, ratty looking, holy, stained, you know, raggedy looking clothes. Go get you some loungewear. Okay. Because you always want to look feminine, put together, and pretty, especially if you're married or taking fit pictures or whatever you're doing, posting whatever on the internet. And even just to make yourself feel, you know, good, get you some decent lounge clothes and throw out all the ugly stuff. Okay. That makes you feel ugly and masculine and, you know, Toe up from the flow up, throw it out or give it away. You know, don't wear that stuff anymore because it drink it drags you down. You know, I, I remember I was very bad at that because I just like comfortable clothes and I would sometimes even wear my husband clothes. <laughs> Thank you, Antoinette. It takes about four hours in total in the morning and night to do skincare, shower and makeup routine. Is that normal? For me, it is. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. And if I have to rush to get somewhere, I'll either wake up early or do a quick rendition of the four hour thing. You know what I'm saying? Or you could take your shower the night before um, and, you know, you can lay out your clothes, do stuff the night as much as you can the night before or wake up extra early. Right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, yeah, I used to wear my husband's like clothes, T-shirts and stuff and jogging pants around the house and it wasn't cute so you have to get you some cute lounge wear it could be like just a matching set of whatever but it has to be cute um and feminine so that they remember that you're a feminine woman you know when, when men remember that you're a feminine woman they treat you as such you get better treatment okay Um, yeah, I was guilty of it too, child. I was wearing some ugly, crazy looking mismatch outfits. 
But I, sometimes I would do it on purpose just to get the reaction to see what they were going to say. Like, what in the world do you have on? I said, like, why you like it? Then he, then he started going to Victoria's Secret and buying me pajamas and, and stuff. So I knew he didn't want me to wear it no more. So I'm like, okay, I'll wear this. That was like that was like a couple years ago. You know, sometimes they'll they'll tell you in a nice way by buying you a gift. Stop wearing them ugly clothes. Okay. <laughs> right? Because like Okay. Smart tactic. That's right. For reference, you guys, that is two hours in the morning and the other two hours at night. <laughs> That's true. You know, but you know, what else are you going to be spending that time doing? You can multitask when you do that too. Like you could, you can watch videos. You can watch a movie on Netflix on your computer or your phone. You can um, listen to an audio book whatever you can multitask with that because I know that's what I do like when I do my makeup and stuff I'm multitasking All right so you're, oh I read five books a week that means I do my makeup so long I listen to all these audio books you get smart and cute smart and cute baby <laughs> listen to books on um, how to accomplish what you're trying to do you know oh um you know think and grow rich are the art of seduction, you know, whatever, whatever. Re, uh, listen to those audiobooks while you get ready. There, a lot of them are free on YouTube. Mm hmm. He said, Your job is to look good. Everybody's job is to look good, believe it or not. <laughs> if you look good, you might not need to have a job. Okay. Not a job where you had to go clock in and work for somebody. Anyway, <laughs> I remember those days. <laughs> Let's see. Shira, do you wear makeup daily? Even I didn't, you know what? I didn't wear makeup yesterday. Or did I? No, I didn't wear makeup yesterday um, because I didn't get on. Well, I did get on camera, but I, I just had on my glasses. But no, I didn't wear makeup yesterday. I, I might not wear makeup one day a week, but I'm always having to go somewhere, like drop the kids off or go run an errand or be online or take pictures for Instagram. And plus, I like to do my makeup, so I probably will have it on five to six days out of the week. Um, Yeah. Where do you shop for clothes? Several places. Um, I shop at like Shein.com online, Yoins. A lot of these places send me free clothes um, sometimes. Um, I also like, I don't know, just I like going to the store and picking out stuff too. Like if I go to the mall, I'll go to like Saks. I'll go to like, um, sometimes I like, depending on what my mood is, I shop in different types of stores. Like I go to the um the polo store like Ralph Lauren and get like cute sweaters and jeans and then I'll go to like Saks and look at their stuff and get some cute dresses or whatnot or I'll go to like Marshalls or TJ Maxx and buy whatever I see um I just shop everywhere it doesn't matter <laughs> whatever's close by and have stuff that looks cute women women just shop everywhere as long as the stuff is cute on you because women make the clothes the clothes really don't make the woman you could take um you know, as long as you look good, your makeup and hair looks good, you could pretty much make anything look good. Right? Mm hmm You said you always wanted human connection. Oh. <laughs> Y'all are silly out here. You said pretty little things is good too. Oh, I haven't I've never looked at their website. Let me check them out. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um so, you know, you can have, um, you can do your makeup. I like to do extra because I, I'm going to be on camera. So it doesn't, you know, I can do that. But if I'm just, and I like to do extra anyway, because it's just fun for me. But if I'm going somewhere where I don't, I don't need extra, like if I'm going to the kids' school or whatnot, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do all this you know, glam. I'm just going to 
and probably won't have the lashes on or the sparkly bright lip gloss. I'll probably just have something more neutral on, like a neutral glam. You know, but when I'm on here, I'm going to do what I want. Or if I go out and I'm not going to a kid's school, yeah, I do what I want. Mm-hmm. You said it's an old lady perfume, but some people love Chanel number no. five. I have it, but I don't wear it like all the time. I might wear it every once in a while. I like Coco Chanel. That's my absolute favorite. And Tom and Tom Ford, uh, Black Orchid. And I also have Gucci Bloom. It's the, the one that smells like gardenias. I don't know what the name of it is, but that's the ones that I'm wearing right now. Um, I... Coco, I had Coco Mademoiselle too, but I like the original Coco Chanel better. Um, you tried MJ Perfume, Black Orchid, but it did nothing for me. <laughs> um, you like Tom Ford? It smells pretty good. Mm hmm. You love Chanel Coco Noir. Mm -hmm. I have Tory Burch too. Um, so, yeah, Miss Dior, I have that too. <laughs> I have so many different perfumes, but I, I, I'm a perfume person. Like, I love buying perfume. But I'm not going to buy perfume all the time. I just buy the ones that I really like. Okay. Mm hmm You like perfume oils? They last so much longer. Mm hmm Yeah, you yeah, I have that angel perfume too. I have Chloe too. Let's <laughs> see, I have all these. Um sometimes I like to mix them because they smell really good together as well. And that's another thing you can do. You know, have a perfume that you like. I have a perfume that I carry in my purse. It's like the little ones that they can give you at like Sephora, the little squirt bottles or the samples. Uh, have one that you keep in your purse and you can have one at home. Keep a body spray, like maybe in your car, um, something because you're always going to want to smell good wherever you go. That's another thing, you know, that gets the attention when you walk by and you smell great. People turn. If you look good and you smell good and your voice is nice, that's like they're you're ensnaring all their senses. And so they're going to be more attracted to you. So always smell good. Like this bag that I have, even though this is my bag that I take to my car and upstairs when I'm, you know, going to my office, I could bring my laptop, my, um, some books, some headphones, you know, makeup if I'm going to need to touch up or whatever. I put this in this little bag and have some deodorant <laughs> in there as well. I have lip gloss, lipstick, deodorant, my earbuds, a couple of books that I'm reading. And I bought this thing. It's like, it's to carry shopping bags. So you don't have to carry a thousand bags. It's like you just slip it on here and then you just hold this. So you can carry like five to six bags in one hand. So I have that. <laughs> it's very convenient. And a few lipsticks and stuff. And pins, hair tie, I don't know what that is. But yeah, and I just carry my journal in here up and down the stairs when I can take my laptop down. So that's it. It's like my little tote. Um mm -hmm. Ap apologize okay well when my stuff is taken down i'll apologize to everyone sorry that y'all had to steal my content and sorry that what happened to you happened to you but until my stuff is taken off I, i'm not apologizing to no thief if she wants to be moral she could be moral and do the right thing okay sprinkle sprinkle you, I, I, I have flower bomb. Um, it's really, it's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Have I smelled that? I don't know. EDP. What does that mean? All right. 
I'll have to smell it next time I go to Sephora. <laughs> that I don't know. I like more dark um, floral, like night noir smells, like Coco Noir, um, Black Orchid. I like those kind, but I also like gardenia smells too. So if it smells like that, I don't like the sweet stuff that smells like cupcakes and stuff, unless it's from Bath and Body Works for like showers and stuff, but I don't like that for perfume. I'm too old for that. Like if I was in young, young, yeah, but I'm too old to be smelling like cotton candy as a perfume. <laughs> um, Right. I think it, it's when you mature and you get a certain age and you hanging around certain types of people, you can't wear cotton candy. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta you gotta blend in with your environment. Like if everybody's wearing Chanel and you pop up in here smelling like some candy, it's like, what is that? Somebody has on Bath and Body Works. <laughs> you know, so you it depends on like your your group or the the people that you're hanging out with or the environment that you're going. Like you don't you're not gonna wear that to like a fancy gala full of you know snooty rich people <laughs> you found a fragrance good girl by carolina okay feminine males love ladies talk <laughs> they do yes they do um okay so you don't somebody says food smells you don't want to smell like food Okay, you don't want to smell like food. So if you cook a lot, make sure you have some Febreze or some type of closet freshener so your clothes don't smell like spices and food and stuff. You know, <laughs> you don't want to walk around smelling like food. Um, magic sense. Okay, because I, I've, I've smelled people that smell like food or their car smells like food or, you know, you don't want to be or their hair smells like food. So. Make sure you're not smelling like food. <laughs> um, that's what perfume and body spray and deodorant and stuff like that is important. Keep some mouthwash or some, you know, those little Listerine tabs or some mints on you as well. Because if you go out to eat or you have lunch and you have some smelly garlic in your food or onions or whatever, and then you have to talk to someone, they're going to smell that on your breath. So keep some mints or something on you. Um that's important because I have run, I have run into situations where, but we have masks now you can kind of mask it. But before you have to be like straight up onion breath or garlic breath. So make sure you carry those mints and then you don't want to smell your own breath in those masks. So carry on mint. <laughs> right. You said bacon and fried chicken. That's you going to be smelling like bacon and fried chicken. Dog's going to be following you around. <laughs> Um, yeah, you don't want that. People wonder why dogs be following them around. Look, you smell like food. <laughs> uh-huh. So, you know, don't, don't be around here smell like food. Okay. So another, another tip is, you know, to stay, you know, leveled up and look good, feel good. If you have um, like appointments, like if you have nail appointments, hair appointments, you know, eyebrow, whatever appointments y'all get, try to keep them regular so that you don't fall off of your appointments. Like before COVID, I always used to have appointments to get stuff done. And I'm like, okay, I have my nail appointment. I have my, you know, this appointment. And I'm like, after when COVID hit, I had to learn how to do a lot of stuff on my own, which was kind of good because now I don't have to go and do all that stuff if I don't want to. So I think it's good to also learn by, on your own, like certain things that you need to have done, whether it's nails, facials, you know, whatever. Make sure you know how to do that as well in case you can't get your appointment. And if you have a date or something or you got to go somewhere, you need to be able to do what you got to do. Okay. Um, so 
<laughs> you said goat tastes like haystack. Crap. I don't know. I never eaten goat. Um, but you know, <laughs> I believe you if you tell me that's what it tastes like. Right. What do I do for my nails? I'm horrible at painting nail polish. So I got the gel nail sets, um, the gel, the gel polish. And I just like this one is not done because I picked it off, but I just cut them shorter. And I put um, the base coat on, but and then I dry the nail, the nail color on, and then I dry it under the little UV light because you can get that stuff cheap on Amazon now. I think I even have something linked below all my Amazon favorites, and I have the that stuff on there. Um, it's like twenty dollars, and then thirty dollars or something. You get a bunch of nail colors and that little UV light, um, and then you take the little alcohol wipe that comes with the set. And you just wipe off the nail and then you have the gel nail for like two weeks. Um, and so I think it's more like a simplified look. I also have the kind, you know, the glue on press on nails that they started selling everywhere. You could do that. But I never did the like nails, like where you actually do the gel and make the tip and all that stuff. I was, I'm too impatient for that. If I get that done, I'll have to get it done at the nail shop because I don't want to do that. But some women actually learned how to do that during COVID, which was a new skill that they learned, which is good. And they could save a lot of money and level up for cheaper and use that money for clothes or something, you know? Right? You you can use that money for makeup, clothes, hair, whatever. Because getting your nails done is pretty pricey these days. So, um, especially if... <laughs> Like it, if you're getting your pedicure done too, and if you're getting certain things done, you would have like a hundred dollars, hundred and ten dollars is what it would cost me to get my manicure and pedicure. Uh huh. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You like learning things? Okay, good. Um, and you can also learn um how to. You can also learn how to do um different things like. If you like to entertain, you know, if you like to entertain, you can entertain people, you know, throw little dinner parties like my sister be doing. And, you know, you can say, oh, bring someone, you know, you invite someone. This is how a lot of people meet new people. Oh, this is my friend, such and such. Oh, this is my friend, such and such. So sometimes that's how you can also meet new people. Um, and even if you don't like people coming to your house, you can rent out a venue or, you know, plan it at a restaurant in a, like one of the little ballrooms or whatever. You can do that um, when things get back to normal, I guess. I don't know. Right. And once you're able to like meet new people and friends of friends and stuff like that, that could lead to meeting like, you know, someone that you can date or someone that knows someone that you can, you know, make a good match with. So always focus on, you know, what else can I do? How else can I bring new people into my life that, you know, instead of trying to meet everybody online? What, what can I do? Where can I go? You know, um, art museums, art, um, art galleries. Sometimes they have the sip and stroll where you can walk around different art galleries with wine and just walk around. It's more like a singles market, actually. Um, book signings, you know, if you have a favorite author or something like that. And they're, they used to do book signings, but COVID. But in the future, when they do book signings again, you can kind of go to one of those and see like there's people with similar mindsets or interests. Um, hobbies, maybe like hobbies for more wealthy people. You can meet people that, you know, are going to be able to provide and things like that. If you should, you know, date them and end up with them. So go look for, you know, hobbies that people of means do like you know there's country clubs there's tennis there's golf there's um like i said art galleries there's there's this place that we live by and it's like um they do like they have like gardens um and things like that people like to go by like 
nice tropical plants and the nice, um, you know, they got nice houses and in the area. So you can, you can look around the plant area. You can look around, you know, home goods and stuff like that. Um, home Depot, there's a lot of people like that go out on the weekend and buy stuff for their yard or their house and um, stuff like that. the men, you know. So I bump into them by accident. Botanic garden, yeah, botanical gardens. Workshops, mm-hmm. Thank you, Lisa, sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate that. So, yeah. But if we wake up every day and we put ourselves as a priority, you know, then we we put a lot of into ourselves, a lot of energy, effort as far as, you know, our looks, energy, you know, whatever books you're going to read or audio book you're going to listen to while you do your makeup. Whatever you're putting into yourself, you're going to reap it back out. You're going to get it back out in some way. So don't think like you're wasting time. It's going to come back to you. I promise. Um, so it pays off for real. Like if I didn't take the time to look decent, I would not have gotten so so many things that I've gotten in life. You know, I can only imagine what my life would be like if I didn't do that. It would be bad or I wouldn't like where I was. So just imagine how great it could be versus how great or not great it is now if you're not used to getting up and putting yourself as a priority on a daily basis. And when I say put yourself as a priority, I don't mean put a job as a priority. I don't mean put a career as a priority. I mean put yourself as a priority. Because you can put all you want into your career, but if someone walks in that looks better than you and is cute and they want to see their face in that office every day on the fifth floor or whatever, where, where you want your promotion at, that's who's going to get it. It don't matter if you're better at the job or not. The, the face is what matters. You go into a company, they like what you do, but this girl can do something similar, but not as good as you, but she looks better. She's going to get your position. She's going to get your raise. She's going to get whatever you thought you was get, getting ready to get, you know, same thing with the competition. Like you like a guy, he likes you, you're okay. But then here comes this other girl who looks better than you. And she likes him too. And he likes her a little bit. What edge do you have? You know? So it is important because it also helps you to get what you want or to compete for what you want without really having to do much except take care of yourself and put yourself as a priority. And that works in several other departments as well. So it's like just benefits everywhere. Right. People think people forget about that. And a lot of, a lot of women say, well, men like natural looking women, but they like her until someone stands next to her that's put together and polished with makeup and hair and perfume and, you know, men of means are looking at. And, you know, then all of a sudden you're going to look like what? Pygmisha over there. Right. So that's why it's important. I'm trying to tell you, all don't listen to him. Listen to yourself. Put yourself as a priority. He's going to like you no matter what. But you need to be able to look as good as other chicks that are going to come stand right next to you. You need to be able to do that because they go, oh, don't wear no makeup. Let's go out. OK, now you out with everybody and everybody has on makeup and hair and you sitting up there looking like a chicken. A boiled chicken. Right. And they're like. Looking at everything else and nobody's looking at you. Do not fall for the okie doke. Put your put yourself together wherever you go. Don't let don't let someone tell you you don't have to do all this and that. Do it if you want to. Right. I said a chicken. Um, not a boiled chicken. A boiled chicken. Yes. <laughs> you said you found your you found my man spy cam with numerous flings. Ooh. I'm trying to get out of my feelings. It was before me. How do I ask for an allow? Traumatized girl. Why did you look for it? Why did you watch it? Did you watch it? <laughs> 
Start to tell him that you found it and then get distracted by something that you want. Like, you know, I was looking in your room the other day and I found this device and oh my God, those boots are so beautiful. Like be looking on your phone. Oh my God, I wish I had this much money. I could buy them. You should start giving me money so I can go shop. Right before you about to bust up, he going to keep your mind on them boots by saying, okay, how much do you need? Get, get something out of it. That's how you ask for your allowance. Right before you start to almost bust them. And you got to use keywords so he know he about to be busted. Then distract yourself with some something that costs money. And won't he give it to you? <laughs> Keep your mind off of whatever he was about to you whatever you was about to tell him. All right then. It was before you anyway, so it's not really like he gonna get in trouble, but he don't want to have to explain it or face it or talk about it. He might just go in there and make it disappear, you know. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. He's going to. <laughs> he probably saved it. What? So, if you're introverted by nature, is it enough to look good taking the small talk and talking the small talk and pretending I'm interested takes so much energy from me? Well, don't pretend. It's not that you're going to be interested. It's you're interested in the opportunities and the what could come of it. You're not interested in because you don't know him. So you're not going to be interested in him because you don't know him. You're interested in what could be. You know, that's how it, if you're an introvert, you probably sit around a lot in your daydreams. Imagine what life could be if this works or if you like him or if he likes you. And that will keep you, your energy up while you're trying to talk to him. Okay. And everyone isn't a pick Misha, but they are very common. <laughs> True. Mm -hmm. A man doesn't care if you're introverted, if you're a beautiful woman, and also um, you have to know what when to be social. That's true. Um, He said, let me take care of you. Okay, you can take care of the uh, cash app. <laughs> or that YouTube cash. Okay, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> You'll be fine. Take yourself up in the mirror, listen to affirmations, and find opportunities to make conversation. Right. Talk, start talking to everybody, the cashier, the bank person, you know, whoever you run into that day. And just make it a habit. Then you won't be so introverted. You know, you'll be able to talk to people when you need to and not feel any type of way. Just start talking to everybody. That's what I do. I used to be like that when I was younger. Then I just started talking to everybody. Not, I don't do it when I'm not in the mood, but when I'm trying to be, you know, nice or social, I will. Okay. You, you stutter when you're nervous, then don't be nervous. If you talk to everybody, you won't be nervous. That's the point. Like, if you talk to everybody that you see in one day, you won't be nervous when you talk to, you know, a date or whatever. It'll just be like... You might be a little bit nervous. Yeah. But you won't be so nervous where you can't get the words out. Like, I still get nervous sometimes when I'm talking to certain people. But I talk to y'all so much and uh, people that out and about so much that it goes away, you know, soon after. Um, 
Yes, think before you speak. Definitely. Mm hmm. How? What? Let's see. So you do custom work for celebrities and met up with some NFL players. I did well, but I'm still shy. Oh. Um, well, you know, you'll break out of that. Just just keep talking to everybody. Not too much, but talk to them enough to where you're not shy anymore. Um, you said working in the marketing field helped you? Yeah, but I, it's, it sure seemed like it would. Thank you, Brandy. Went on a date with a guy. This is our, sec our third day talking. He's already asking me to be in a committed relationship. Thoughts? You better tell him what the committed relationship means. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I've been dying to quit my job. So that you can take care of me. That's what committed relationship means to me. You committing to these bills. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm-hmm. That's what a committed relationship is. You taking me off the market, then you need to take me off the work market too. A sprinkle, sprinkle. He said, it's a trap. Don't do it. Just see what he says. Don't really quit. Just see what he says. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I would do. That's what I did. I didn't have a job anyway. Um, mm -hmm. Your sister's mad at you because you're not there for our son. Huh? What should I do? <laughs> I don't even want to answer that question. Uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sure, can I punch my provider in his knee? No, but you can trip and fall on his knee. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> oh, God. Why you want to punch him, girl? He, he being mean? Oh, you, then you being clumsy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> right. Sure, I'm checking on my beans. Stop. I'm checking on your beans. <laughs> you choking on the beans. Stop. <laughs> um, anyway, I know, I know. Y'all have to, y'all have to think like me. Come on, like, okay, you making me mad? Then you finna be real mad because I'm finna trip and fall. And guess what? On the way down, <laughs> that knee is gone. <laughs> Oopsie. It was an accident. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. You didn't think I was going to read it? I, be, I can see it. Um, when, when you're 19, you need to learn to take yourself out. Mm -hmm. Trips and dinner and learn self-care. That's true. I agree. Take care of yourself when you're young. Make it a habit. Put you first. Live your life. Mm hmm. Um, thank you. Hop on your brooms, which is time to fly away from the dust. Don't worry, Pikmisha will sweep them up. <laughs> A mess. Mm hmm. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. I am Crystal Marie. Thank you, girl. I appreciate that. Hi. 
Thank you, CL, Sprinkle, Sprinkle. I'm trying to improve my look. Now I wear weaves, extensions. I receive criticism, yet I'm told I look pretty. What is up with people? They jealous, girl. Sprinkle, Sprinkle. But you make them look bad when you stand next to them. That's all. They're going to be mad. <laughs> you know, what can you do? Just keep looking better. That's all you can do. Maybe you'll inspire them to do something with themselves. Since they got to stand next to you or, you know, be compared to you, maybe they'll go do something with themselves. Because that's not your problem. It's their problem. Remember that. It's not your problem. It's their problem. Okay? You don't have a problem. You just look good. That don't sound like a problem to me. Thank you, the goddess. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate that. <laughs> So, you know, you're going to be like, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Sounds like a personal problem to me. Has nothing to do with me because I ain't, I don't have a problem. I'm looking good. <laughs> you didn't mean to tip. Oh, that's okay. You know, I'm good now, girl. Thank you, though, for being considerate. But no, I'm good. You can tip whatever you like. Um. Yeah, but we good now. I'm good now. <laughs> yeah, everything's good now. Well, all that depends what to balance it out. Oh, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you, the goddess. I appreciate it. I have an ex that wants to give me money, but he's crazy. If I don't go back to him, he's going to harass me and my family. I don't want him, but I want his money. What do I do? You don't want him, but you want his money. He crazy. You won't go back to him, but you want his money. Well, then you got to be crazy. When you go back, go back with a new mental disorder. I can get back with you, but my, you know, my psychologist or psychiatrist said that I have to take baby steps back into relationships because of my bipolar disorder. Um, get your money and go. I'm bipolar. I, I was mad that day. Okay. You'll get your money. <laughs> Okay, go get your money and, do, and then be out the next day because you, you know, you're experiencing some symptoms, okay? Um, <laughs> you said shaking my head. <laughs> okay, I'm bipolar. I'm going to go. You're after me. The spices in your cabinet are conspiring against me. I have to go. <laughs> you only have three pieces of soap. I need at least 25. I don't know, make up something. Then go after you get that money, girl. And come back. Okay, I'm fine again. Right. Make up something, girl. Yeah, the more creative you get, the more they believe it, right? <laughs> I don't know. Sure, where did you get the the shirt that I'm wearing? Yeah. Um, probably shein.com or Amazon or something like that. They have them on both websites. Mm -hmm. um, you almost choked again. Oh, my goodness. Did any of you catch COVID? Nope, I didn't catch it. Mm -hmm. Been on here all every day, almost every other day, every couple of days, but no COVID here. Mm-hmm. 
Joe, did anybody catch it? I don't know. Nope, 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 nope. That's good. Leave and act like you're in a witness protection program. I don't know. He'll believe that. Mm-hmm. You had Rona in May? Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Once you've connected with someone online, how do you get the bag? Is that a bag, girl? You got to make a date, baby. Or you got to talk about stuff that you need and see if they offer to send it to you or some money to buy it. Or you got to make a date. It looks so good that they know how to keep you in their life is by offering you some sprinkle, sprinkle, some money. Thank you, Nazram. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I hope I said that right. Um, let me blow this up so I can see. Oh, whywigs.com, baby. So let's say where I get my wig from. Whywigs.com. Um, I have like links in the description box to the website to get to whywigs and also a coupon code to save $10, but not this particular wig, but just to get to the website and also the, the coupon code. You can just look around the site. You'll probably find it. Or you can go to my wig videos and look for it somewhere. Um, mm -hmm. You like my star tattoos? Thank you. I got these on my 33rd birthday. Um, this is me, Layla, and Sasha. Me and my two kids. And this one is like, it's like pink, blue, and then this one is purple. It's like a combination. They all came for me. So. all oh, peace and love. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I also have a Michael Jackson tattoo. Hmm. I got that on my birthday too. What do we do? And the guy's asking to meet me and has already gifted me in presents. Meet him at an expensive restaurant, girl. What you doing? Meet him somewhere. Meet him at the mall. <laughs> or at a restaurant. Or do something. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Aluna. When will the unbothered lipstick come back? It's not in stock. It should be. Are you looking on my Poshmark store or are you looking on my levelupcosmetics.us store? I will restock it as soon as I get off this video if it's un because I still have some left. Um, but go to, if you're looking on Poshmark, go to levelupcosmetics.us instead. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How to know by appearance if a man is wealthy. Um, the side of town that you probably meet him on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's why it's easy just to do that. Hang out on a nicer side of town and you most likely he'll have money. It says sold out. Okay, I'll restock it after this video because I still have some. Um, maybe I can do it real quick now while I'm on camera. But yeah, definitely make sure to look at their walk. They have a walk about themselves. I think accomplished men and men of means have a certain walk. And it's an air of confidence, even though they're not, you know, the, you know, it's just an air of confidence that you see in certain men that have money. Now, a lot of men that have money are not flashy. So it's going to be harder to distinguish. The flashy ones usually don't have the money. 
the ones that have the money, they're more, they're all about their, you know, their career, their business, businesses or whatnot. So look for someone who's into them, uh, into their businesses or career, or if they talk a lot about that and they have a lot of accomplishments, you can just talk to them and get to know, you know, if they have a decent watch and a decent pair of shoes, they're most likely. If it's not super trendy and, you know, flashing everywhere, it's most likely they're probably at a good salary or own a business or something. Okay, I'm trying to find the level up link so I can restock. Okay, here we go. So, also, by the way, he talks about what he does. Like, ask him what he does in a day. You'll know that if he's got money or not about what he does in his day. <laughs> oh, I have five orders. I have to do those tonight. Okay, let me restock this lipstick. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. I, I need to, I didn't know that they all sold out. Um, I, I think I just, oh, wow. Somebody bought a lot of them. All right. I'll restock it right now. We have this Bath and Body Works, I mean, yeah, Bath and Body Works candle. And it smells so good. It smells like like cookies that are baking in the oven. And I keep smelling it and I'm like, I want some cookies. But I have to remember, it's just the stupid candle. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'm restocking it, hold on. Okay. Done. Okay. It should be restocked now. Thank you for letting me know. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, done. That is so true. Some wealthy men don't physically show it. They look normal. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is good because then they don't then they don't have like this target on their back like. <laughs> Hey, I got money. Come steal it. <laughs> Come, you know. Well, they have to, a lot of people have to be careful because people like to rob people or follow them home. So if you're not looking like bling blinged out and stuff, you don't draw as much as negative attention to yourself, and you just go about your business. Um. Okay, should I go to his house for a date since everywhere? No, girl, shoot. everywhere ain't closed. The grocery store is open. <laughs> um, outside stuff is open. Limousine companies are open. Girl, no. Like Sasha had a birthday and I called a limo. Okay. And we we took a ride and we went we went somewhere. He said no. Yeah, don't go to his house. Tell him to rent a limo. I'll come pick you up. Y'all can ride around. That's y'all date. Be like, oh, y'all can get some takeout food. Bring it in a limo, um, or go somewhere that's open to eat. Sit sit in the parking lot or whatever. But it's cheap. I mean, he was going to spend that anyway if he had taken you out to a nice date. So get, get a limo. Tell him he's just wearing a limo or something. Say no to the trap quarantine and chill. Nope. It's like, why don't you rent a limo? That would be so fun. We can ride around the city and just go sightseeing and, you know, drink some champagne and, you know, get something to take out or whatever. Right, don't settle because that's what I did for Sasha's birthday. We didn't have like a party or go anywhere with a lot of people, so we got her a little limo, put the little sound, put the little music on, and a couple of her friends came, and that was fun. So, 
So, and sometimes they have like the cool limos, like the party bus ones or the, the different types, like the, the Hummer one or the stretch regular one or the Escalade or whatever. The hot tub one. I don't know about that. <laughs> That's it. Tell him no. <laughs> no flight out of state. What? So what is a home date? <laughs> is it where's my bracelet from? I have two. Um, this one is this one is from this one was a Christmas gift from James. And this one is from JNCY Jewelry or Jewelers. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you said that's a good idea. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Nicole Wolf. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate that. But um, you said UK is locked down again. I'm sorry. Do they have um, like car services, limo services? You can ride around. Mm, party bus. You said you think these dusties are getting super aggressive now because it's income tax season. <laughs> Oh man, I, I forgot about that. I gotta go gather some stuff. I hate I hate tax season. But you gotta do it, right? Mm -hmm. Canada too? Oh, I oh know. I'm sorry y'all are shut down. Do a Zoom date and let him send you food to your home. <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you said heels for a first date? Sure. Not why not? Oh, depends on where y'all going. Can you wear heels? <laughs> uh then I would. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Y'all are so silly. No, you know, I don't really care anymore. If she got to make money using my face, I mean, we already know why. She can't use her. So, so on and so forth. I mean, if you're going to choose a face to make money with, might as well be a good one. <laughs> right? Might as well. I think I got that super chat, but I'll scroll back up. Yeah, no, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I got her. Is there one before her? I don't see any more. Okay. So. A sprinkle. She is. <laughs> right. I didn't see it then. It just got. It got. Let me see. Aluna, when will the unbothered lipstick? That's the only one I got before her. Sorry, it didn't show up then. Sorry, it doesn't show. It didn't show up. I can't read it. Okay. That's a good makeup brand that I would recommend for two teenage girls. I like to surprise my daughter and her. If you picked them up from soccer crowd. How old is she? Um, well, since if they're young, then you will probably want something that's good for their skin too, that won't clog their pores and stuff. So maybe like I know it depends on <laughs> uh, you're asking you're asking a serious question, or is this for a joke? I would do Clinique or Blair, Bare Minerals for um girls with the um 
younger skin that may be acne prone. Sprinkle, sprinkle on. He said weirdo troll. <laughs> Uh huh. I don't know her, and judging by her troll base, I don't want to know her. It's a win win for me, right? Um, yeah, all she does is steal other people's content and talk about the content that they put out in a negative way because she, she can't pay nobody to be with her, basically. So, you know, the, the point is people need to stop taking other people's content. And they need to make their own. Thank you. You said, <laughs> eh, y'all are so silly. Mm hmm. It's okay. I don't, you know, it comes with the territory. Girl. I don't care. Thank you, Sonia Bear. How can I get my boyfriend to find me more expensive, to get you more expensive gifts? He put 500 in my bank account today only after embarrassing me at the Nordstrom's counter. Oh. <gasps> Um, uh, embarrass him. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Like, I don't know. Embarrass him back. Like, you don't have this? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, sir. My boyfriend can't afford it. <laughs> Walk off. I bet you have some money next time or he won't go to the store with you. <laughs> Girl, that's why you need one or two. If he can't do it, so if he can't do it, someone else can, baby. Right? I can't see your last. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm editing them right now with some music. <laughs> so, what? I would get a new. Yeah, she said she would get a new boyfriend. A man should feel proud. That he can buy for women. That's right. Definitely agree. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, that's what you got to do. Embarrass them when they can't afford something. Tell the, the cashier or the salesperson, oh, I'm sorry, my boyfriend can't afford that. <laughs> He'll be like, okay, I put it away. Don't pay for it. And if you do, still say that your boyfriend can't afford it and to hold it and you'll think about it and you'll come back later and come back with another man <laughs> to pay for it. Or you can go back and pay for it yourself, but just teach him a lesson, whatever you, whatever you do. <laughs> right? So when you go shopping with me, bring some money. Because you're paying. <laughs> Duh. This soup bone say, huh? Yeah, soup bone. You didn't know that's how it works. You, If you go shopping with a woman, you're paying. Period. <laughs> Am I post-op or pre-op? No op, baby. <laughs> I... I don't have time to have operations. I have kids, baby. I got to I got to do my stuff. I had, I have three businesses I have to run. I have three YouTube channels and I have two kids. A dog and a cat. Okay? So I had no op. <laughs> I know I look good. Just say I look good, baby. You look good. Thank you. See? That was easy. Just say I look good. You have to ask me about no operations I didn't have <laughs> because if I was going to do any type of operation I would go get it all done baby you wouldn't see me for a year I'll be gone and I come back a whole I actually I wouldn't even come back because I I wouldn't have to I'll be gone like where did she go I don't know she was somewhere living her life she, she gone period <laughs> she must have she must have hooked up with somebody <laughs> she she must have leveled all the way up up out of YouTube all the way <laughs> okay 
Right. So y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. Actually, I, I wouldn't probably get surgery anyway. I don't like that. Um, I don't like the fact that it would take so long to heal and stuff. It's like I'm used to just popping up after one day of like twisting an ankle or something. I can't be sitting in the bed for no six to eight to 12 weeks. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You, you need to trade mark that I don't think you could well I, I think you may be able to but I trademarked pigmesia I don't know if you could trademark sprinkle sprinkle because it's just you know sprinkle mm-hmm yeah they be stealing girl you know people that can't create gotta steal from those who can we know the deal been done for a long thousands of years so whatever um you said fake Nicki Minaj who, who trying to be Nicki Minaj I, I I can't help how I look baby sprinkle sprinkle mm -hmm. I can't help my face look like her either she had work done I didn't so I don't know <laughs> maybe she looked like me now sprinkle sprinkle Mm-hmm. Don't be hating. No offense, Nicki Minaj. You you're beautiful. Right? The dusties are clo close cross dressers. What? <laughs> Y'all are so silly. That tattoo lowers my goal. Uh-uh, you better give me some money, Christopher. <laughs> I like my tattoo. I covered that up with some concealer. That's not a big deal. If if it was going to devalue me, but I'm already I'm already good, baby. Um I always <laughs> when are you going to let me take you out? <laughs> um uh uh never that's the that's the answer that I'm supposed to give you. I don't know you, sir. Please what? Said, you want to be a Nicki Minaj. Do I want to be Nicki Minaj? Let's go to the beach. Beach, let's go get away. They say what they're going to say. <laughs> I do like Nicki Minaj, but I don't want to be her. But I do like her. Um, <laughs> I want to be me. I'm, I'm too good at being me. Who going to be me if I don't be me? Right, I can't believe grown men antagonizing women. Girl, they ain't got nothing else to do. They dusty. <laughs> they just like the attention. I mean, we, you know where they're coming from. They're not used to seeing some certain things, so they want to talk to me. Of course, they try to say negative things to get my attention. So you know how the reverse psychology works. We're just gonna allow them. To see something that they can't really see. Well, I guess they can see me over there, but they can't see me live over there. Mm -hmm. They can't see anything on that, you know, where they came from. Bring them to the light where the cameras are on. Okay. They're not used to seeing me like, yeah, they're not used to seeing that lips and face move and people that actually take care of themselves get on the camera and talk and interact with their audience and make eye contact and move around in real life 3D <laughs> right mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I say let's go to the beach. <laughs> and then Sasha can do it better though. Sasha thinks she's bigger than I. Um, Sasha got it. She's a better actress. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm about to end this. But thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate you. Hit the like button. Come back. Um. So take care of yourself. Look good. Feel good. Live good. And you won't regret it. If y'all have anything, um, other tips for, you know, look good, feeling good, whatnot, leave them in the comments. Um, you say trolls need to get a lot. Man, you know how you know how I get a lot of my subscribers. They come in as trolls and stay forever. <laughs> okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye.